This is a Joe High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program, covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. Victor Valley College Lady Rams softball and Rams baseball teams show marked improvement of late, both teams turning in their best games of the season upon entering the month of March. For the Lady Rams, the opponent was San Bernardino Valley. Patty Mosier turns in a strong game, both as a hitter, knocking in Nayeli Morales with the double in the alley in left center field in the Lady Rams' biggest run-producing inning of the young season, and Patty Mosier ringing up this strikeout in her complete game performance against the visiting Lady Wolverines. Patricia Patty Mosier, the former Silverado Lady Hawk, starts the four-run third with the leadoff single to the left side of the infield. Ashley Blanco follows with the sharp single to left, sending Patty Mosier to second. Ashley Blanco, a 2018 graduate of Silverado, coming off a two-hits performance at Ventura in the Lady Rams' previous game. With the two runners aboard, Anissa Lopez launches the drive to the fence, driving in Patty Mosier and Ashley Lopez. The two-run double comes on a two-strike pitch. You like hitting better with two strikes? I, you know what? I was telling them the same thing. Both my bats, I had two strikes. I mean, I think it it makes me focus more. I just want that next ball. Good job. Both of her base hits this day coming when she has two strikes. Uh, different hitters with two strikes? Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's important. Yeah, my, my count, I don't know why. <laughs> Anissa Lopez hit 537 her senior year at University Prep. Maricia Norton steps in and with two strikes on her, drives in Alina Lopez who had walked. Maricia Norton, the first-year Lady Ram from Moreno Valley, drives in a pair of runs this game. Ashley Boren wins this battle at the plate. The ground out drives in Maricia Norton with BBC's fourth run of the inning and effectively chasing the Lady Wolverines' starting pitcher. The VBC ladies score three more runs in the next inning. Emmeline Gonzalez takes one for the team, leading off the inning. Maricia Norton follows, taking second on the errant throw. Emmeline Gonzalez to third. With Nayale Morales at the plate, Emmeline Gonzalez scores on the pitch to the backstop. Maricia Norton has advanced to third. Maricia Norton then scores on Juliana Martinez ground out. Maricia Norton scoring two runs this game to go with her two runs driven in. Patty Mosier turns on the fastball and drives it to the fence in right center field, scoring a very happy Nayella Morales. That very delight expounded by Nayeli Morales made covering this game as much to this veteran video journalist's liking as the numerous hits pounded out by the Lady Rams, seeing the players having fun generated by their individual successes and those of their teammates. To succeed on the college level has required so much hard work. That comparison is touched upon by team captain, Emelyn Gonzalez. What are some of the biggest differences between playing college softball compared to high school softball? One of the biggest difference I'm really going to say is we, in college ball, you kind of have a title to work up to, which is scholar athlete, you know. Um, first comes school and then athlete, so you always got to put the books first and then ball comes right after that. And in high school, it's more of fun and all that, but in high school you got to start off on a better path so that way you can make it to college ball. 
you feel there's more pressure on you as a collegiate player? Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. yeah, there's more pressure. I feel like it's more intense. The girls take it more seriously. And overall, it's just a fun game to play. Yeah. The fun factor alluded to by this Rams sophomore on a day he will long remember playing for the BBC men's team. You know, I never pitched in my life and it's, I mean, it's pretty fun. More fun for sure when meeting with success as Nate Trujillo did, shutting down a powerful college of the desert through four scoreless innings in this start. How much previous experience did he have as a pitcher? You know, I never pitched in my life, and it's, I mean, it's pretty fun, and running base is always fun too, but pitching's pretty fun as it is. The former Oak Hills Bulldog proved to be a triple threat this day, pitching, hitting, and running bases. On the mound, he strikes out two and walks one, working into the fifth. The Rams' third baseman, when at his regular day job, Nate Trujillo fields the comebacker here to end the fourth. On the base paths, Nate Trujillo steals a base and scores a run as the Rams carry a 1-0 lead into the fifth inning against the COD Roadrunners. Aaron Olivares stays back and lashes the base hit down the left field line, sending Nate Trujillo to third. Aaron Olivares, the first-year Ram and former Victor Valley Jackrabbit, is second on the team in base hits with 14 in VBC's 15 games played. Here's another quality at bat against Desert. Isaac Ruiz doubles in Kyle Adcock from first. Isaac Ruiz, Rams freshman from Chino. Kyle Adcock, the former Atalanto Saint, had led off the inning with the solid base hit to left. Kyle Adcock had an RBI double in the Rams' previous game, their highest scoring game of the year, when they scored 10 runs at Antelope Valley College. This Victor Valley College Sports Report is presented by the Bradco Companies, Joseph W. Brady's Bradco Companies, the High Desert Mojave River Valley's longest standing full service commercial brokerage firm, Bradco, ardent supporters of the team's athletes and sports programs at Victor Valley College. Silverado's Lady Hawks, the farthest advancing high desert basketball team in CIF postseason, is at top seeded Chauvet in Los Angeles in the Southern California Division IV State Regionals semifinals. Elizabeth Udez is one of the highest scoring juniors in the state, averaging 23 points a game. Coach David Carroll's Lady Hawks advanced to the Division IV AA championship game, then won round one and quarterfinals state regionals games. They are 22-3 on the year, facing 22-2 Chalavet. Flashing back to sports headlines and headline makers, this date in high desert history. Silverado's Vanessa Mota is the Desert Sky League Player of the Year. The Lady Hawks senior led her team in scoring, averaging 13 points a game. Vanessa Mota, one of four Lady Hawks named first team all Desert Sky League. Leading rebounder, 6'1", Aila Bella, 34, is a junior. Joanna Ayala, number 24, is first team all DSL. The junior averaged 11 points a game. Jasmine Burks is a Lady Hawks senior. The players are listed alphabetically below the MVP. Silverado went undefeated in the Desert Sky League. Barstow's Lady Aztecs finished in second place. Raven Simone Ely is a Barstow junior. Christiana Quiota is a Barstow Lady Aztecs sophomore. Victor Valley Jackrabbits finished third in the DSL. Deshea Hunter, the Victor Valley sophomore point guard, is one of two Lady Jackrabbits first team. 
Jewel Rencher, the sophomore leading rebounder and team captain, the other first-team selection from the Lady Jackrabbits. Gregory McClendon is of Atlanta. The Lady Saints do not list a roster on Max Prep, far less statistics. Silverado returns four of their six all-league selections. Barstow will have three underclassmen all-league players returning. All three of Victor Valley's all-leaguers will be back. The 2021 All Mojave River League girls basketball team. Four of league champion Burroughs standouts are all league. Most valuable player, senior Amaya Ramon. Sophomore Sidney Browning, senior Letty Sepulveda, and junior Lisette Sepulveda. All first team, all MRL. Burroughs went undefeated in the Mojave River League in 2021. Hesperia and Oak Hills finished tied for second with seven and three league records. Three Hesperia Lady Scorpions are named first team all Mojave River League. All three sophomores, Queen Alla, number one, and Savannah Wynn led the Lady Scorpions in scoring, both averaging right at 10 points a game. Diamond Zebrana, Number four was Hesperia's top rebounder, and she averaged nine points a game. Oak Hill's Moriah Burley led her team in scoring. We caught up with the Lady Bulldogs Jr. following a win over Hesperia. What made you You know, it was mostly teamwork and, you know, really just being out there and being hungry for the ball. Lady Bulldogs sophomore Kaylee Rios Number five is also first team all MRL. Apple Valley leading scorer, senior Presley Vargas, a first team selection. Presley Vargas also honored as recipient of the Shirley Richard Memorial Award, a $3,500 scholarship this year, awarded Apple Valley Lady Sun Devils basketball's outstanding senior student athlete. Lady Sun Devils sharpshooter Alex Soddy, number four, first team. Alex Soddy, the Lady Sun Devils leading three point shooter her sophomore season. Lady Sultan Junior Bella Hernandez, number 24, and fellow Sultana Junior Percy Lopez, number 10, represent Coach Jennifer Wiedemann's girls as first team selections. Serrano Senior. Chrislyn Carey, the Lady Diamondbacks leading scorer, first team, all Mojave River League. Mojave River League and Desert Sky League Players of the Year, Sage Bridges, MRL MVP. The Lady Jackrabbits, Bradley Twins, DSL Players of the Year. We were introduced to Gary Antone Bradley when she won MVP honors at the Serrano Tournament. Gary Antone Bradley. <laughs> Gary Anthony, tell me this much, uh, what are some of the strengths, what do you like best about this team? I like best about like how no matter what happens off the court, we always come back together to play together. So. Uh, Gary Antone Bradley led the Lady Jackrabbits in scoring, averaging just under 13 points a game. Gary Antone Bradley was first team all DSL her junior season as well. Sister Garyana led the DSL champions in rebounding. Who am I talking to? Garyana Bradley. Yes. Garyana, what do you like best about the way this team is playing? I like best about the way my team plays because, like, when one person gets the energy going, we all feed off of it, and we really work together to do what we got to do. Might be the same answer, but uh, what are some of the strong points? What are the strengths of this Lady Jackrabbits team? Uh, we're a fast-paced team, and we have a nice length and height for our team, and we're well-conditioned. Fellow Lady Jackrabbits earning first team All-DSL honors, Mia Zaragoza, 5'5 junior, who averaged 10 points a game, and 5'7 junior Tegan Love, senior Kylie Flores, receives second team honors. DSL runners-up Barstow places two Lady Aztecs seniors on the All-DSL first team. Leading scorers Sianoa Alevolofio and Emma Pow Pow. Junior Raven Ely is a second team selection. Silverado's 5'11", Junior Lili Bello is first team. Leading scorer, sophomore Malaysia Leonard of the Lady Hawks, second team.
Atalanto sophomore Naila Solis averaged 10 points a game and earned first team honors. Zachary Love, 5'10 junior and leading rebounder, a second team selection. Granite Hills six foot senior Charlie Colbert represents the Lady Cougars. We caught up with her following the cross town victory against Apple Dell. Charlie, what do you think made the difference in this game tonight? Um, I think we really, after halftime, we really saw that we were down and we, we wanted to win this game. We've been on a losing streak, so we really wanted to come and win this game for our coach. We didn't want to let her down. We're not about to let you down if you've been waiting for all MRL selections. Sage Bridges of the Mojave River League champions, Oak Hills Lady Bulldogs, repeats as MRL Player of the Year. The 5'8 senior is a three-time All-MRL selection. Sage Bridges led the Lady Bulldogs in scoring, rebounding, steals, and assists. And she led Oak Hills into the second round of the CIF 2A playoffs. 5'6", Oak Hills sophomore Caroline Ellison, number 33, helped lead Coach Kelly Hennessy's ladies to their eighth Mojave River League title in a row. Eliza Gonzalez, 5'5", Oak Hills senior, number 23, was the third Lady Bulldog named first team All-MRL. MRL runners-up Hesperia also has three players named first team All-League, and all three are set to return next season for Lady Scorpions coach Ronnie Hillary. Tyresha Sessions, runner-up to Sage Bridges in Player of the Year balloting, was the leading scorer in the MRL the past season. The 5'11 junior averaged 20 points per game and had the highest scoring game among High Desert girls, 42 points in the Lady Scorpions' overtime loss to Oak Hills. Tyresha Sessions also averaged 6.6 .6 rebounds and six steals a game. Kylie Edgar is a sophomore and repeat selection. First team all Mojave River League. Kylie Edgar is 5'7". She averaged 11 points and six and a half rebounds a game. Where Kylie Edgar was first team all league as a freshman last year, Savannah Wynn is a freshman Lady Scorpion earning first team all league honors this year. At 5'5", Savannah Wynn averaged six rebounds, a team high five steals, and eight and a half points per game. Another freshman earning all MRL honors is Apple Valley's Alexandra Sadi. Alexandra Sadi was the Lady Sun Devils' leading scorer for first year coach Patrick Geisel. Underclassmen outnumber seniors on this year's all MRL team. Five players honored return in 2021. Burroughs 5'7 senior Ashley Dumas and Serrano senior Anna Funk, representing Coach Ross Hansen's Lady Diamondbacks, round out the 2020 All Mojave River League selections. Speaking of the Lady Diamondbacks, Cassandra Lacey has been named the 2020 Southern California Intercollegiate Player of the Year. The 2016 graduate of Serrano averaged 13.3 points and 5.2 rebounds a game in leading Redlands to a 19-6 record. Oak Hills Sage Bridges leads the listing of 2019 on Hobby River League girls. Sage Bridges of the Oak Hills Lady Bulldogs is named Mojave River League Most Valuable Player. The versatile 5'9 junior averaged 19 points a game in leading Oak Hills in defense of their Mojave River League Championship. Three Oak Hills teammates are first team selections. Junior playmaker Lydia Garcia, senior Gabby Martinez, Lady Bulldogs senior Ayala Ramsey, first team all MRL Sultanas represented on the first team by Teresia Sessions. This 5'9 sophomore averaged 11 points a game. Serrano senior Valerie Aguian, Hesperia freshman Kylie Edgar round out first team all MRL selections. We Got Em Tease presents the 
flashbacks to this date in high desert sports history. We got them. Tees. Your headquarters for custom screen printing and master craft embroidery design. We got them. Tees. Two locations. Apple Valley and Upland. Oh yeah. We got them. Tees. On this date in high desert sports history, Blake Goodrow's reign of threes helps lead Hesperia to opening round win in 2020 state regionals. Chad Green drives in the game-winning run in 2020 Victor Valley College walk-off win against rival Barstow Vikings. Tanner Fuller's three-hitter helps Sun Devils win third straight in 2018 Frozen Rope Tourney. Hesperia resumes their quest for a CIF championship, defeating Santa Fe Christian in the opening round of the State Division II Regional Tournament. Tony Singleton scores 20. John McCullough leads Scorpions scorers with 25 in the 13-point win over the visiting Eagles. Blake Goodrow adds 19, hitting threes in clutch situations and explaining the Scorpions' mindset following their three-point loss in the CIF Division II title game. Blake, was it tough for this team getting focused and intense after such a devastating loss in the finals? Uh, we just had to get back in uh, the gym, keep working, and move on to the next one. We knew we had State come in, and our bracket was good, so we got to keep pushing with each other and keep getting better. So that's what we did. John McCullough goes to work early against this man-to-man -man defender, first of John McCullough's team high 25 points. Tony Singleton demonstrates why it's difficult to block his jump shot, elevating above the defense and scoring the first points of the second quarter. Jonathan McCullough on the run jumper. Needed to tie the score at 35, we are at the midway mark in the third quarter. And it is here and now that John McCullough leads his team in pulling away from the visitors. Hesperia is no stranger to Santa Fe Christian coach Chad Bickley, who had coached at Hesperia Christian over 20 years ago. Santa Fe Christian is in Solano Beach, a two and a half hour drive for the Eagle. The closest Santa Fe Christian can come down the stretch is seven. The final score, Scorpions 70, Santa Fe Christian Eagles 57. Victor Valley College rallies to beat Barstow College with a walk-off yeah. win. Chad Green doubling in the winning run with two outs in the ninth. Coach Irvin Bounds, freshman-dominated Rams, celebrating in near-delirious fashion. We might expect a close game when these evenly matched cross-desert rivals meet. Coach Ricky Walker's Vikings, four wins coming in. Coach Irvin Bounds, Rams, three in the win column, entering their first meeting of four this season. The Vikings cash in on BBC's lone error of the day, Kagan Kennedy scoring the first run of the game on the throwing error, Caden Martinez winding up at second. The Rams take the lead in the fifth, Chris Crespo at second. The Rams running game accounting for their first run, Chris Crespo steals third and scores on the throwing error, Isaiah Navarro advancing to third. The score is tied at one. The Rams second run scores on the Vikings second error of the inning, Isaiah Navarro scoring on the misplayed pop-up. Rams lead two to one after five. The Vikings come right back and tie it up on Alex Pena's two-out single to center, scoring Kagan Kennedy from second. And we go to the top of the ninth. Lead-off hitter Ace Felice at the plate. Zach Becker strikes out. Ace Felice on the breaking pitch for the first out. Robert Valdivia draws a walk, putting runners on second and first, and bringing up designated hitter Greedon Velazquez hitting third in coach Ricky Walker's batting order. The second year Viking out of Barstow High School drills the pitch the other way into the left field corner. Jackson Folkman's run ties the score and Robert Valdivia scoring from first puts Barstow College ahead. We go to the bottom of the ninth, visiting Vikings leading four to three. Jonathan Trujillo, the leadoff hitter in Irvin Bounds' lineup this day, starts the rally with his second base hit of the afternoon. Jonathan Trujillo, 
first-year Ram and former Oak Hills Bulldog, the Rams' leading hitter with a 368 batting average. Let's see how Coach Irvin Bounds plays it with nobody out and the tying run at first. With Angel Cano at the plate, Jonathan Trujillo steals his team-high seventh stolen base, and the tying run is in scoring position. Jonathan Trujillo will move on to third on Angel Cano's sacrifice bunt. Joe De La Torre grounds to shortstop Robert Valdivia. Catcher Caden Martinez leaps high for the throw. Jonathan Trujillo slides under the tag in a cloud of dust. The Rams have tied the game at four. The stage is set for Chad Green's heroics. Chad Green steps into the one and one delivery and sends it just beyond the reach of the center fielder, Joe De La Torre, scoring easily on the base hit and the Rams have their first walk-off win of the year. Chad, take us through that at that. <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to do too much. I was just trying to put a ball in play, put a good swing on it, you know, get my chance. I get my team the chance to win a game. And that's just what happened. Tanner Fuller wins his second game of the week, and Apple Valley wins their third in a row. Tanner Fuller with a key base hit in the sixth and striking out the side in the seventh in Apple Valley's one-run win over Carter. Fittingly called the Frozen Ropes Tournament, game time temperatures 50 degrees, steady winds hitting gusts of 20 to 25 miles an hour. Returning all Mojave River League center fielder Elian Ortega collects two hits and steals a base. The senior is 9 for 14, a 643 average four games in. Elian Ortega gets the Sun Devils on the scoreboard after the visiting Lions take a one to nothing lead in the fifth. Jacob Escobar leads off second. Elian Ortega ties the score at one with the sharp single to left, scoring Jacob Escobar from second. The Sun Devils draw back-to-back -back walks to load the bases with the count full and the bases full. Christian Hill draws a base on balls and Trevor Standridge trots home. Apple Valley leads at the end of six, two to one. Top of seven, Carter puts runners on first and second with nobody out. With the wind hitting its predicted 25 mile per hour gusts, Tanner Fuller bears down. After falling behind, Tanner Fuller comes back and gets the called strike three for out number one. Swinging, strike three, out number two. Tying run on second, go ahead run on first, two outs. Call, strike three, and the game is over. A three hitter for Tanner Fuller, striking out five. The final, Apple Valley Sun Devils, two. Carter Lions won three consecutive wins for the Sun Devils after dropping their season opener in the Frozen Ropes Tourney. Valu Quality Truck Bodies presents these high-performance flashbacks to this date in high desert Mojave River Valley sports history. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Valu Quality Truck Bodies, family-owned and operated locally since 1954. Valu Quality Truck Bodies, proudly showcasing teams, athletes, competitive activities, and community programs throughout our high desert. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Bid fast and long, sold on supporting High Desert Sports. The Bradco Companies supporting all the teams and sports programs throughout the Mojave River Valley. Iwan Zach Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. Valu Quality Truck Body. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. We got them tees. Your headquarters for custom screen printing and mastercraft embroidery design. Silverwood, the developers of the Silverwood Master Planned Community, support the teams, athletes, and sports programs of all our high desert and Mojave River Valley schools. And by the Holiday Inn in Victorville, 
The Holiday Inn, Conference and Convention Center for the High Desert. The Holiday Inn, supporting the teams, schools, and sports programs throughout the Victor Valley. This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program. Covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. 